Hi everyone, I hope you are doing so, so well. I'm coming at you with new hair. It's giving color. It's giving... Who's this blonde girl? <laughs> Not really, but it's giving color. It's giving new hair hoodies. It's giving... Child. It's giving, it's giving new hair. And if I keep looking at myself there, please don't mind, because, like, I just, you know, today. Hi, everyone. I hope you are doing well. Sorry, let me adjust this. I hope you are doing so, so well. Forgive me for the noise. Let me put this properly. I hope you are doing so so well happy sunday it's the second of july 2022 halfway through the year time flew 2023 2022 time flew <laughs> i hope you are doing so so well um this is a long overdue video this was supposed to have it was supposed to happen a long time ago so i did a q and a on linkedin back in march back in march i did a q and a and i was asking people about biotechnology so i asked i made notes here uh so i asked um i asked my my, my uh, people that I follow on LinkedIn, this is mostly people that I went to school with uh, at UJ who did biotechnology as well. So um, I asked them these four questions about biotechnology and they just basically gave me their opinion. I didn't know how to put together this video in a nice, interesting way. That's why it just took me so long to do it. And I even forgot about this Q&A. And then there was this one time I was looking back on linkedin and i remembered oh my gosh people gave me responses let me just read them out as is like are you going to like interesting that i came up with to put this together it's just it is what it is and i'm just going to read you the answers as they are and hopefully someone will learn a thing or two from it hopefully somebody will find it interesting or that in have a change of mind or change of perspective in terms of biotechnology the industry and what it can offer you maybe you're still studying biotechnology or you're thinking of studying biotechnology or something like that and yeah maybe you just want to know what people who are in the biotechnology field um think about it you know so yeah i asked these are people who i went to school with so these are biotechnology graduates some some me or all of them are working in the industry um both in like they are lab technicians and quality some are lab technicians in microbiology so yeah anywho this is just a ramble the four questions that i asked were question number one is what in your opinion is the downside of biotechnology and the industry number two is are there jobs in the industry in south africa obviously in their opinion is there number three is is there growth in this field uh which is biotechnology in south africa and lastly does biotechnology have a future and do you think it's still worth study so those were the four questions that i asked okay keep these questions in mind and i'm gonna read them out to you okay question number one okay question number one person number one was utabo Tabo went, uh, Tabo and I were in the same class in first year, uh, first year biotechnology, and then, um, 
I don't think I ever mentioned the story. But anyway, I'm, I'm, it's a ramble. But anyway, just a quick story. When I was uh, doing first year, I failed maths, right? So I, so we were doing chemistry, ne? chemistry, math, end user computing, bioscience, and microbiology. And I failed maths. And then this was first semester. When I failed maths, then I couldn't, um, no, 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 I continued to, so I failed maths first semester and I continued with second semester modules, but not the maths. So when I was supposed to be doing second year, because I had failed maths in first year, I had to block out the whole of that year just to do maths, like just to rewrite the subject and do maths one and do, no, no, maths A and then do maths B. So basically I repeated the whole year but i didn't repeat all the subjects i just repeated maths anyway uh how does this story is because like i said Utabo, we, most actually of the the people who i was um who whose answers i'm going to call out most of them i was in the same class with in first year and then when i failed and stayed behind in the year they continued Right, so that's why you'll hear me say we were in the same class together in first year. We were in the same class in first year, but then they left me behind and I stayed behind. But I still graduated anyway. Mm. <laughs> anyway, so the question was, he said, this is Tabo's answer. He says, at the moment, I don't see any growth here in South Africa and biotechnology is not taken seriously. It's a growing industry, um, meaning a future is there across the world, but it would take a long time for it to be recognized in South Africa. He means biotechnology. And he says, I don't really think it's worth studying. And then Ukatla Yochum says, Ukatla um, I was in the class with him in final year. So third year, he says it takes time for you to get a stable job, right? In biotechnology, and there are job opportunities, but you must have at least two years of experience. Personally, I wouldn't advise anyone to study biotechnology in South Africa. Interesting. Then there was Brendan. Brendan, uh, we were in the in the same class in first year. And Brendan, like just between the two of us, is doing so amazing. Everyone here on this list is doing uh, quite amazing because they're working, some are studying, some went on to do their advanced diplomas, um, honors, you know, those kind of things. These are this isn't just a game. <laughs> so Brendan says, Biotechnology is a good field with so much potential. There are very few limitations. However, in South Africa, there are very few opportunities. Ne? There's potential for growth, but with the current economic situation, the future looks bleak. Biotechnologists have to find a gap in the market and use their knowledge to solve problems and start their own businesses. I think that's our best bet. Biotechnology is the future. It is definitely worth studying. However, one needs to move to first world countries to see the significance of the field. Yeah, those were all Brendan's answers. And then there's Umbali. Umbali and I were in the, in the same class in first year. And she says, people should do biotechnology just for passion and not for, le for long-term sustainability. Uh, the basic salary in biotechnology ranges from 5 to 10K, which isn't much. Jobs are also very scarce. I have been applying and so far nothing has come up. And there's only a few biotechnology companies in South Africa. She went on to say most biotechnology graduates are working in food companies and we only had one module about food in our entire course. That's very true. 
That is very true. I believe biotechnology has a future in South Africa, but we would have to create it, work towards opening biotechnology companies. And this one is uh, very true because uh, you'll see when you start working in the industry, you'll, rec you'll realize, Uguti, there's a whole lot of food companies that are hiring biotechnology students because there aren't many biotechnology companies in South Africa to hire us. So your best bet is to go into the food industry and go work in their laboratory because also seven times. Okay, but I mean, it's not to say that just because you did biotechnology, you're going to end up in the food industry. You know what I mean? Like it, it's, it's anything is possible. And the, 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 there are many opportunities and we're not all going to end up in the same place or doing the same kind of jobs. We are Angie. Get that I want to and just where you find the blessing to work. Anyway, let's continue. Kogeto, Kogeto was also, yeah, Kogeto and I were also in the same class in first year. He says, the downside is that the industry is not willing to hire people, right? And uses us in the name of in service and internships. Um, companies will hire students and overwork them and pay them little money instead of hiring them permanently after training them. He says, companies will expect you to know certain things without even training you. Mm, and when there's a problem, they'll say, but why did you do this and that and that? But they don't even have proper training in place. That's what I also realized a lot when I started in the industry is that companies like especially as a student they don't know what to do with you and they'll train you but there's not proper training for it even after they train you um they'll train you for a year and then let you go because they want to hire another student you know and keep paying them less money because it just saves company the money to just get students to do the job right um he says it's not easy to get into Oh, another thing, another point he made, he says, it's not easy to get into the pharmaceutical and medical field as a biotechnology student. That's very true. Another point is that, were you thinking just because we did, um, what's this? In the subject, layer DNA, guys. Biochemistry. Just because you did biochemistry, you did DNA, you did, you did um, disease and immune response, you did genetics as a subject, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to end up in the medical field and it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to end up in pharma. I say necessarily because you may, but you may not. It's not a given. Yeah, well. uh, which is quite weird because we only did one module in that's a, a food module but a majority of us are in the food industry but anyway uh let's get back i'm just rambling and then he says another point we still on ukogeto he says there are no jobs in south africa even with all the advertisements <laughs> He also believes that there is growth as we are seeing more scientists and there are interesting researches being done, but the growth is very slow. Right? He says, he goes on to say, um, he believes that South Africa is not ready for the future of biotechnology. It is still worth studying as it is very broad and you can decide to go into any field. You are able to go into chemistry, into the biotechnology route, the food industry route, the pharmaceutical route. Right. So it's very broad. You can choose whichever route there is. But I mean, your best bet is mostly the food industry, guys, honestly. He says there is a lot to learn once you get inside the industry. Yeah, that's there, that's true. There's a lot to learn in the industry that you won't necessarily learn through theory and at school. And then um, another another response was from Caroline, who I also went, who who I was also in class with, in first year. 
She says, I believe that most biotechnology-related companies have their standards set so high that it doesn't accommodate graduates and entry-level posts. He says, she says, the jobs are available, but I've noticed that the in-service program allows the company to have more hands at a lower cost. It's a good program, the in-service training, that is, um, and that's how we graduate. However, I feel there needs to be a certain standard set that will also accommodate graduates. She goes on to say, the industry is still growing, and with the rise in climate change, hmm, there's always opportunity to grow in the industry. And for as long as there can be a new model phone, there's all there's always there always can be growth in any platform interesting she goes on to say oh, she has a lot to say girl line <laughs> she goes on to say however the lack of employability and considering that the university doesn't really make individuals aware of this it tends to be discouraging as i have been unemployed for a year now you lose hope and you lose hope coming to such platforms LinkedIn, um, noticing the huge number of unemployed biotechnology graduates. Uh, is this the last? This is the last. This is the last response. This was from Onakesa. Onakesa was my friend actually. We were in the same friend group. So yeah, she says. Uh, biotechnology is a broad cause and because most companies are looking for specialists we don't really fit in anywhere and therefore they don't have a specific task for us this decreases the demand for us as anyone can do what we are doing and we also can do anything the industry needs us but it kind of does not need us that much come oh sorry we are mostly placed in food companies uh, then biotech companies such as Ingaba, uh, Ingaba Biotech is a biotechnology company. Uh, she went, she goes on to say, there are a lot of QC jobs, quality control, but not for biotech. And we already have food technologists for that. So we already have food technologists working as quality controls in the food industry. So she's trying to say, why then should biotechnology students also be hired to do food tech jobs anyway she goes on to say she also has a lot to say hey she also she went on to say there's no growth in south africa as people don't even know what biotechnology is south africa is not promoting biotechnology it is the future but people are not taking us seriously people are not finding jobs in their undergrad courses and it discourages them to study further you can start getting recognized when you have a master's or a PhD, but if not, you will always be treated as an intern or a student. Hmm. That's true. And then she says, biotechnology is the future. I don't reject, I don't regret studying the course. However, it is mostly recognized overseas. It's the future as we can fit in any field such as the medical field, the food industry, and the pharmaceutical field. Yeah, so those are all the Q answers from the Q&A. They are quite long, and this video is very, very long. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you stayed until the end. I know it's quite long, and I don't like making these long videos. But if you did stay until the end, please leave a heart or something a smiley face or a sunflower just to say yes you did watch to the till the end and i hope you are well you you are great i'm wishing you love i'm sending you health and just good vibes and positive energy uh, yeah <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yes, guys. Uh, and Bye.